Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Vanson Wong. I'm an OBGYN physician. I've been practicing here in Sacramento for 31 years. When I first read about this bill, I indeed uh, thought that it was about uh, preventing the prosecution of pregnant women who suffer from an innocent and heartbreaking death of their unborn child. But it was to my shock and horror, as I read the bill in more detail, a clear and gruesome intent can be um, gleaned from this. It's not the intention that we're uh, arguing with. It is what's said in the bill that is problematic. And the phrase, perinatal death due to a pregnancy-related cause should not be investigated is problematic. First of all, as stated clearly in the bill, and I think we all agree, that most perinatal deaths are have really no etiology. Yes, there can be some explanations for it, but the most the majority of these perinatal deaths are therefore um, unknown, and how can you classify it as such? The second problem is that the most obvious pregnancy-related issue is that there's a baby. So if, I'm not a legal scholar, but if it says it's a perinatal death due to a pregnancy-related cause, well, the pregnancy-related cause was that there was a baby, and let's say if a uh, gentleman gets a, uh, his partner pregnant, he's unhappy that she is pregnant and causes uh, her to lose a pregnancy through an act of violence. There's a placental abruption due to uh, a massive trauma, traumatic event. Um, he will claim on the court that, hey, you guys can't prosecute me. This was a pregnancy-related cause that led me to this action because, after all, what happened uh, was related to a pregnancy. And it's really not, thank you. I'm sure you're thinking that the concerns of infanticide are paranoid and ridiculous. However, the moral acceptance of killing babies is gaining popularity, promoted most recently by Professor Peter Singer of Princeton University. He stated, of course, infant infanticide needs to be strictly legally controlled and rare, but it should not be ruled out any more than abortion. Um, the ambiguity of the bill is clear. However, a close inspection of this bill does allow for the legalization of the killing of innocent newborn children up to the age of 28 days. A yes vote is an unequivocal and complete approval of the legalized killing of a newborn baby. And with all of my heart, I oppose AB 2223 and urge you to vote no. Thank you very much. We will go 